Welcome to Science Learn Channel. It is my pleasure to share interesting facts about science in this channel. Please subscribe the channel and enjoy. Which are the two most important natural resources in the world? Undoubtedly, air and water are the two most important natural resources in this world. All living organisms need air to survive. Human beings, animals, birds and aquatic animals like fish are all need air to breathe and survive. Our earth is enveloped by atmosphere known as air, which consists of gases. The gravitational force of the earth keeps the atmosphere near the surface of the earth. If there is no atmosphere, then there is no life on earth. Air is a mixture of gases. Air contains about 78% of nitrogen gas, 21% of oxygen, 0.93% of organ gas, and 0.04% of carbon dioxide. We all know that we human beings breathe oxygen to survive. When we breathe air, the oxygen in the air is absorbed in our lungs and carbon dioxide and other waste materials left out through our nostrils. Do you know which gas animals and birds breathe in to survive? Like human beings, all animals, mammals and birds breathe oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide and other waste gases. So, all the animals and birds breathe oxygen to survive. Do you know how fish and other marine animals breathe and which gas they breathe in to survive? Like us, fish and aquatic animals absorb oxygen dissolved in water. Fish and aquatic animals use their organ called gills to absorb oxygen. The heart of the fish pumps the blood and distributes the oxygen throughout the body. So, human beings, land animals, birds and aquatic animals all takes in oxygen to survive. If it is so, then what about plants? The other most vital living thing on earth. Do plants breathe oxygen? In fact, plants also breathe oxygen to survive. Leaves, stems, and even flowers are the respiratory organs for plants. Plants absorb oxygen from air and give out carbon dioxide. Now let us think about pollution of air. Pollution of air is increasing day by day. There are so many factors responsible for the pollution of air. One harmful and toxic substances mix with air, then it becomes polluted. Smoke, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, ammonia, chlorofluorocarbon mix with air and cause air pollution. Releasing of harmful gases from factories, emitted from the automobiles, burning of woods. We are breathing the air mixed with harmful gases. The coming generation will realize the impact of 
are pollution. If this continues like this, the future generation will face breathing problems and other lung related diseases. So, it is our duty to prevent air pollution. Otherwise, we will see long queues before oxygen dispensing centers. So, we should keep this in our mind and prevent air pollution and save our air. Thank you for watching. This is my humble presentation for preventing the air pollution. Please subscribe the channel.